So this is okay. a pet, co pet collar, right? And Holly Clay, <laughs> and you are volunteers. Is this the right for yeah, the Antiquan yeah. Historical? There are no paid employees. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thanks and for volunteering here too. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also to people who are very instrumental in helping put the timeline together as well. So I, I guess so. Right up the top, but can you just explain? Um, Antoine Historical, for mm -hmm. folks who don't know anything about it, where you're situated, mm -hmm. the old firehouse, et cetera, et cetera, and just sort of set the table for us for your role there and what and what happens in there. Well, the, the firehouse was, the, uh, the Historical Society was originally the firehouse. The building was originally set down at the other end of Walnut Street, was moved up here sometime in the... I, when it was a firehouse. When oh. it was a firehouse, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then was moved up here in the late 1800s, is that about right? Uh -huh. I think so. And has been the Historical Society, I think, at least since the 1930s, if not before. I looked for a date early this morning, can't find it. So, um, and we, we collect and preserve anything having to do with the, historical, with the history of the Anasquam. So, um, documents, photos, what am I forgetting? Ephemera. Ephemera, yeah. lots of ephemera. Yeah. And, and all kinds of incredible things, and artwork as well, yeah. and maps. So. So what are a couple or maybe one of the standout collections that really come to mind? Well, pr probably probably the Native American collection. Well, mm. is one of one of the standout collections. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it, there were a, there were a number of artifacts found throughout Anasquam. Mm -hmm. One of them is a, a spiritual effigy and that um, the original plaster cast was given to the Harvard's Peabody Museum of Archaeology and, and Ethnology in probably the 19. It was found in the 19 in 1922. Mm -hmm. It was probably given in the 1930s or 40s. Um, there was a sec there was a an inferior plaster cast found I think on Arlington Street, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And we have that one upstairs, and we have arrowheads and mm, all different kinds of tools and things like that that are from the Native Americans who. So this was a pretty before. thriving Native American community. So Holly, would this be Pawtucket and Algonquin? Or it's it's Algonquin and I Abenaki, and Abenaki. Maybe? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fascinating. So, so what are you doing when you're volunteering at the Historical Society? What do you do? You have duties, or you're just digging into things of particular interest, or do you target something? Or help historians? Well, maybe? Or? actually, Rita Teal, who's the president of the of the Historical Society now and has been for a couple of years mm -hmm. she she outlined our tasks <laughs> our, our jobs like to made us look she really professional us, um, yeah. and um, I I have done three exhibits so now I'm the exhibit person <laughs> <laughs> um, I did an exhibit on well Rob Russell helped a lot um, but I did an exhibit um, on World War One, which was at the, at, it was actually a man named Bob Griffith's idea because he was in the military for a long time, and he said, you know, it was World War One's, you know, the celebration of, uh, it was an a anniversary of the, mm. of the first World War. So um, um, we did that one, and um, there were a number of people from Anasquam who were in World War One, three mm -hmm. of whom are. There's a plaque out in the woods on the other side of the cove for um, Gossam, Gossam was his name, mm. and They're Eric Lingard, and the other th the other person was, I um, just have to look at my, That's Bertram fine. Williams, who didn't live here, but Elliot Rogers, who it was an amazing person who didn't have children and left everything to the historic society, oh. was in Paris with the YMCA doing R&R &R during World War I. And um, let me see. Wow. Uh, he's also an Anasquam person, and James H. Cunningham was in the war. Mm. And then the other person I talked to was Peter Anastas. Right. And about Peter Anastas' father, which is are incredible stories that I have and pictures. And Dave Pierce just mentioned to us while we we're waiting that his his father. Yeah, we just found out that so he, it was grandfather. <laughs> his or, grandfather, yeah. Yeah. Served in the war. So we did so we didn't know that. Um, mm. Peter Nessus had a picture of a horse blown up in a tree from Whoa. the front oh, at wow. World in World War One. So that was great. Oh, then we did the, the history of the church, um, the Anasquam Historical Society and the ABC, and then we did a history of the firehouse. Mm. So those are the three we've done so far. Next year we're planning Vietnam War, hopefully. Yeah. The, the most I think one of the most amazing things, I just started with the Historical Society in about two thousand nineteen. Mm -hmm. And um, I grew up here but then moved away and then moved back. So um, 
we have thousands, literally thousands of pictures that people have scanned, photos that people have scanned from the original photos or from the glass negatives, which, which are just astounding. Um, um, and, and so we have printed some of them and we have some books we put together and some mugs that have the images on them, uh, which we sell at the um, farmer's market twice a summer. Uh, it's coming up at the end of August. But we also have picture indexes to the pictures. So if sometimes people will come and say, I moved into this house, do you have a picture of our house? from mm. back in history. We, you know, so people have contacted us and say we're looking for this, so we're looking for that. And that's lots and lots of fun. Oh, that's yeah. so much fun. Uh, so that's one of the coolest that. things about this area too. It's how many of those houses still look exactly as they did yeah. hundreds yeah. of years oh, ago. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and there's been no si vinyl siding. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it's not even part of it's not, not even part of the National Register. I mean, it's right. like wow. it's just people's choices. Huh. You know, there's no so I need to ask about the stagecoach. That's a big story, right? Yeah, huge story. Yeah. 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 So, are you reluctant to talk about the stagecoach? No, no, it's only the it's David Teal's. He's the person who has spearheaded the, yeah, the project. He's the, he's the person who has done so much research he's the person who contracted with right. the south dakota so outfit. to give people a quick backstory he's not here there was a stagecoach that ran back in the 1850s or so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right and it was real popular right out in front of the village hall here too and they are restoring the original coach i mm -hmm. believe it's somewhere in south dakota right, right. now and it's a it's a long yeah, yeah. process but and, and this is being yeah. documented they're documenting the restoration so they're, they've gone down paint levels to determine what the original color yeah. was and what was painted next to what it was painted next it's pretty funny and so by spring we should have it it should be completed um and then they're going to bring it back in time for 2023. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, hopefully, and we don't know exactly how it's right. going yeah. to be in the 400s, but we hope that it'll be put on a trailer bed of yeah, some kind yeah, and yeah, paraded. Yeah. And oh, we should just carry it like a chariot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be a horse. Yeah. But I, I was amused to see, I think on your website, that it was just kind of kicking around. Here is that right? It was in, in the historical. It was it. in the historical okay. set. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't realize that this was really pretty significant to still own a station. Oh, oh no. Oh, you I didn't think know that. people knew it was significant. Oh, okay. yeah. But you know, the, the, we were able to get some some funding, and we still have people donating to the to the res restoration, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I I I, th I think the historic s society. Um, perhaps was uh, was laid back for a long time mm -hmm. and it, it took somebody with a lot of energy to mm -hmm. begin mm -hmm. to come in and dig into mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. all of these things like the yeah. stage coach. Yeah, so that's why I want to ask Peg and Holly. So why is restoring Anasquam's history or maintaining it and, 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 and telling those stories, why is that so important to both of you? You want to go? Well, I, 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 not, I just off the cuff, I, mm -hmm. it, um, I think this is a, a terribly unique place. I first came here in 1983, and it was like walking into a living history. I mean, it's like mm -hmm. Williamsburg. I mean, you're walking into mm -hmm. a living yeah. history document. Mm -hmm. And so it seems to me that it, 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 the, the preservation is, is, is all mixed up with the idea that people really care about this village mm -hmm. and that people have cared over the generations and so it's really really worth um, preserving the and documenting what that mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. so we yeah. know the foundations exactly yeah I, I grew up here and now live in the house that I grew up in mm -hmm. um, and which is fortunate it was in the late 1700s oh, and wow. um, so I, I've start, I love and I'm a librarian and ran a museum in the school I used to work in. So so I love doing that kind of research. So so I've been working on that for a long time and that's part of the fascination. It's you you're always discovering something new about mm. about things. Actually we, we were doing the we knew a lot about the firehouse and knew that there was and changing the subject a bit, but knew that there was another firehouse somewhere in the village near the church mm. um, at in the beginning at the at the very first firehouse on this side of the, the island. And my neighbor, unbeknownst to me, I didn't, I had met him before, but just in, in passing, um, contacted somebody else who, and then contacted me and said <laughs> he wanted to know if I could get a, a picture of of the first pumper because his house was the first fire station. Huh. We didn't know that. Really? It was we on Washington know Street, yeah. right down the street yeah. from, right yeah. down the street from, around the corner from where I live and right down the street from the church. Mm. So who knows, yeah. you know? Well, right. when, you, when you begin digging, like I found the, um, their Dyer letters in there and Dyer, D-Y-E-R, and I can't remember his first name, was um, mayor of Gloucester for a little while. He was also postmaster here. 
but he was also a Civil War surgeon, yeah, and Civil his War. records, oh the battlefield gosh. records, are in there. Uh. In, I mean, just how many died, how many amputated, how many sick, how many, you know. Sounds every, like a toe tapper. Uh, it's a good read right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, amazing stuff. But now, if people want to learn more about the Historical Society, how can they go or about visit. doing that? Or visit. Can we visit? Yeah, right. It's open to the public? It's or? closed to the public right now okay. because of the resurgence of, of COVID. Mm -hmm. And um, but, but they certainly can contact us on the website. It's... Um, Info at info uh, at Anis info at Anis Anis Historical Society. Society. Dot org or dot com. Do you remember? I forget. It's on the website. It's on the yeah. website. Just, just if but you if you Google Grand Slam Historical Society, it pops up. There's tons of information on there. Right. Lots of stories and vignettes about different aspects of the village history and um, and lots of connections to also online documents mm. that were scanned through the state of through the Boston Public Library. Oh, so that's interesting. That's really fun yeah. too. Yeah. The mm -hmm. other thing that, that we're doing and I think it's at Rita Teal's behest is that um, we're beginning to try and capture local his local happenings now so that we were right. so that they're right. being preserved for yeah. history. So in other words there's been a 4th of July theme. Does anybody have a 4th of July picture? And they send them to us. And mm -hmm. so we're, we're beginning to digitize and catalog that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. for More recent history. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. And there's a spot where if people want to send little vignettes to us, they can do that. And then we'll mm -hmm. post them and share them with everybody else. Because the stories are just incredible. Yeah, amazing. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you so much for, uh, first of all, spending a lot of time with me in the weeks leading up <laughs> to this event. I, I had to bend their ears a lot yeah. uh, to research that piece. Uh, and it's been great getting to know you both, and we are going to come back. Oh, uh, good. Someday good, good, good. Are you okay with coming back on again? I know you're a little nervous at first, but so oh, this yeah. was pretty painless, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and we have other other cohorts in the historical society we can bring on too, so yeah. they can kind of, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, the, they yeah, have I, other stories to tell. Yeah, the tears are coming back. So yeah. oh, there we go. well, they've been in New Zealand, so but their their house is right there, and they're coming back soon. Right. Yeah. And, that's yeah. and Steve did. Harris too was a big part oh, of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Steve yeah. Harris yeah. has just done so many so much videography of interviewing people who yeah, and Betsy Teal who who not Betsy, I'm sorry. Betsy Horvitz. Betsy Horvitz, who, who has done tons and tons of photo scans research. and organizing and research. She's amazing. Yeah. So well, that's the great thing. There's just still a lot more to learn, a lot more people to get to know. Too. Well, thank yeah. you so it's, much. It's been great getting to thank know you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your oh, time. Oh, you're quite welcome. Yeah. This episode of Cape Ann Today is brought to you by Bank Gloucester. Start here, get there.